What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Yet another roast themed show from LA has become a show on TV. Uh, this time on Netflix, Historical Roast, The Historical Roast, uh, from Jeff Ross, by Jeff Ross. Uh, similar to Roast Battle, started off as a show uh, out in L.A. and then progressed to uh, an actual show uh, out now on Netflix. Six episodes. Each episode, it's like your typical kind of uh, roast. Not Roast Battle, but, you know, you're just your Friars cr- Club roast. Uh, where it's uh, you know the roast of honor, and each episode is a different person from history, and comedians and actors and different people uh, will play other historical figures as they roast each other. Uh, episode one is Abraham Lincoln. Episode two, Freddie Mercury. Episode three, Anne Frank. Episode four, Martin Luther King Jr. Episode 5, Cleopatra, and Episode 6, Muhammad Ali. Uh, Martin Luther King, uh, the, Episode 4 is a like Black History Month-themed uh, episode. Probably my f- most favorite, uh, one of my most favorite, anyway, of these different seasons. It was a lot of fun. It had uh, Harriet Tubman on there, had Nelson Mandela, had uh, somebody else that I'm not thinking of. Um... God, what was her name uh, that sat in the back of the bus? Fuck. Uh, but a fun, fun episode nonetheless. They're all, I mean, they were all fun episodes. Oh, Barack Obama, Nelson Mandela, Rosa Parks, not Tubman. Tubman was on a different one. Um, but yeah, it's a fun, fun kind of concept within to use that style of comedy, that roast style of comedy. Which, the way it's done, it's very, very weird. It's weird that there's, like, such a formulaic way of writing this specific kind of comedy. Um, but well done when, when you know, matched up. The Freddie Mercury episode was hilarious. It had, had uh, uh, David Bowie was one of the other people from history uh, that was roasting. Uh, but just overall, a really fun kind of concept and a fun show. I also like the roast battle. I, would, I wish those were on uh, Netflix as well because I don't have. I don't think I can access those. Maybe through Hulu because the roast battle was a lot of fun. Roast battle is almost the best expression I would say of roasting because it's people roasting each other and uh, you know in a tournament kind of a style. Uh, versus just your standard dais and uh, person of honor. Uh, but overall, a fun show, a fun uh, way to experience roast comedy. Um, some amazing comedians were p- part of it. If Urkel from back at Jaleel White plays, he's in a couple of them. He plays Muhammad Ali and Nelson Mandela. Uh, his Nelson Mandela was amazing. I don't know what he's doing recently. Not Mel- Nelson Mandela, but uh, Urkel. But it seems like he should be doing more stuff because he's got like a... It seems like he's got a good sense of humor. He's still got... I mean, he has the ability to act, but I don't know if he's... Maybe he's doing a show. I just, There's so much TV, so much shows out there. I don't know who, when, where, how he uh, he could be doing a few shows for all I know. Uh, but it was cool to see him because I was, you know, of course, huge was it Family Matters uh, back in the day. Did I do that um, kind of thing? But uh, yeah, so go check out Historical Roast on Netflix. Six episodes. Um, I don't know. Just I, I talked about the dollop in, on Wednesday's episode during Swipe Up. Uh, played a little clip from one of their things where it's fun to see history or just you know it's fun to kind of get educated on stuff through comedy although this not necessarily the most I mean there were like parts I'm pretty sure parts of it were specifically written to I mean it, it is trying to teach you a little bit about history 
through the writing of these jokes and through the people who are roasting uh, the people. So it, it, it is kind of it, disguising education uh, with comedy, which, I you know, it's an interesting... I enjoy that. I enjoy just getting some kind of education. It's way more entertaining than, uh, you know, sitting in a history class learning about just like a book a history book that was written, you know, a decade ago by people that don't aren't the most entertaining writers because they they are writing uh, history books like that's the form of literature that they have a career doing. So probably not the most engaging when it comes to writing uh, versus professional stand-up comedians uh, taking hopefully true facts hopefully their research teams were accurate but uh having high level comedians you know kind of inject a little bit of knowledge into you is always fun that's why i like the dollop also it's you know you get to hear these crazy stories of history or people in history or from history and uh done in a very entertaining way uh so go check out the historical roasts on netflix it's a good watch uh, a good binge and you'll enjoy it and get educated, maybe. I mean, if you're a really smart person, then it's going to be... It'll be funny. Funny. How about that? That's it for this episode. New episodes come out daily. Subscribe on IGTV and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week in advance over at patreon.com slash inspireddisorder. Inspireddisorder.com for all of my original artwork. Go buy some paintings now and save 10% when you use coupon code INSPIRED. At Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a great day, everybody. Peace. Oh,